Hello, I'm Jenna Flacker. And I'm Leon Garena. Ain't it fun having friends that support the elitist dreamer in you? This podcast is for the way too much unrealistic speaker. Tune in every Tuesday and have fun up leveling. This is the Hot House of Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about how to heal trauma to unblock your genius. <laughs> And this kind of came through me, gosh, we need to talk a little bit about the holiday, 4th of July, and 777 portal, and just some, yeah. like, it, it's been a crazy ride this past week. Yes, it has. It really has. <laughs> Tell us in the chat what's been coming up for you, mm-hmm. and I will get started with the 77 portal that we have as well, so in space, in Weather news, if you will. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, we just had a 7-7 seven, seven portal, as you know. We still are in that portal, even days after the 7-7. Seven, seven. It says that Sirius aligns with the sun and the new moon, recharging our spiritual energy. This is a high vibrational time where we can receive DNA activations, raise our vibration, and receive wisdom. So the, the biggest takeaway that I hear in this moment is that We've been hearing like non-high vibrational or some of that stuff that's like doom and gloom or stuff that kept coming back to resurface for us to eliminate. And now you're hearing about new, of course, the DNA activations, but raising our vibration, receiving wisdom. So now we're moving into a kind of a newer time where there's a renew. So positive beginnings are underway as we move into the 8-8 Lionsgate. This is miracle energy, exclamation point. I thought that was pretty interesting because for several reports I have given has been a lot of the, okay, if you're feeling the symptoms, if you're feeling tired, if it's waning, you know, you're waning. So this sounds much more promising. And I felt like if I get one or more of those, you know, one or more of those (laughs) Those sad ones, (laughs) (laughs) I'm just going to throw my phone out. (laughs) But when I read some of these things, people feel better if they've been feeling kind of off or crazy. Remember, there's still a lot of energy that are moving through. There are things that are coming up for us that are here for us to rise and deal with and to move through. But know that positive beginnings are underway as we move into the eight 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 lines gate. So there we go. Yay. So it's perfect time to talk about genius. Yeah. This uh, topic came to me a couple of days ago and I was playing with, you know, what's next in the flow of all this. And I, I was thinking about how people that have a lot of quote baggage mm-hmm. for the lack of a better word, like baggage from this reality, 3d baggage that is on them where they're trying to adult their way through life because they're in that kind of mindset. There's not this like opening of this door, literally an open of the door to receive some of the whispers of consciousness, some of the whispers of I, just ideas of creation you know, it's almost literally like you're holding all this baggage. And until we remove that baggage, these whispers don't really come and play. I noticed that even in my own life, when I was in my twenties, I was so ambitious and I was going to just rule the world. And then babies happened, life happened. And then it's just like, I kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller until recently. I've been like, oh, fuck it. <laughs> right? Oh, I mean, no. I'm like, I won't, I won't judge myself. I won't judge, you know. The, Is the, it a good fuck it? <laughs> yeah. It's sort of like, if you care too much, <laughs> then you're limited. If you just are like, okay, let's go, then we go. <laughs> so today I'd like to take you guys kind of on a clearing journey okay. to see if we can let go of some of that muck so that you can access more of your genius. Oh, sounds fun. Let's do this. <laughs> Still working on my baggage must report is it is disappearing. Awesome. Good. And then Nicola is ready for some clearing. She says it's so good. Yeah. Let's do. Um, so maybe we start by you guys thinking about that one thing that has just 
always been there in your life that's so annoying, whether it's the relationship or the weight or the pain in your life. Just go ahead and and think of like, what is that? And I want you to go back to when was the very, very first time that you remember thinking that or having that, or maybe somebody else told you you had that? What was the very, very point of creation? The POC point of creation. POC point of creation. So think Mm. about what is that point of creation? Okay. Okay. Now, what if that had never, ever been put in your brain, in your body, in your world? What if it was just, you, you've never even like cared? <laughs> Who would you be? How, it, how might your life have been different? So <laughs> just for a moment, I want you to go ahead and just take that out of your world. Okay. Okay. Anything that doesn't allow that, would you destroy and uncreate? Yes. Then take a breath. Now, what if you, with that thing, could go ahead and get some whispers from the field and say, no, for real, I'm done with this. I'm done thinking these thoughts, like what are the associated thoughts that go with it? What are the associated feelings that go with that? We know that we've got choice in in changing our thoughts. We've got choice in changing our feelings and emotions. And what if with that problem, instead we would meet it with love? Would you just draw an uncreate? Yes. Okay, you guys feel just a tad bit freer. So let's go ahead. <laughs> now, what Tina is, wrote what very young. Resistance? Mother told me she did not love me. Feeling accepted is a wonderful thing. I'll talk about a core wound. Who else has some feelings of not being loved? And now you've put that upon yourself that you think you're unlovable. And all the conclusions that you've made about it and all the points of view that you've had about it, would you now destroy? Yes. One, two, three. Who have feelings of just, I've always been wrong, right? And what if you weren't ever wrong? You know, like you have concluded this in your mind I'm not good enough I'm wrong you know whatever it is but what if all of that is just a lie that you tell yourself and I, we can even take it further and say is it a lie you're telling yourself <laughs> oh yeah can you feel that like my chest <laughs> is opening up for me and for everyone on this line that's feeling this because I know that when we start getting into these things it's like these are big Sometimes real are, things. I mean, they, they're well, they're, they're under lock in your key. world, right? Correct. And, and sometimes they're under lock and key. And unless we have some of this stuff come up to be cleared, sometimes we'll just keep it under lock. And we key. don't even know to ask these questions. Yes, there you I go. think that that's the biggie, right? That you wanted to talk about that, right? Right. Well, it's, I feel that there's this paradigm, and I keep bringing this into this entire series where we were never taught this information. And now that the secret came out, (laughs) now we're aware that there is a different way to create our lives. So now we're getting to the point to go, hey, you know what? I'm going to start asking questions that have never, ever been asked of me before. And what if just one or two simple questions changes everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can even say, what is it that I know that I'm denying that I know? That could change everything. Absolutely. It took like what, A Course in Miracles, that big old volume of books to (laughs) teach us and tell us that we could through a channel, you know, medium and a whole bunch of time and work just to like 
like let me send this into humanity but let people know that we can ask for miracles and it's to be expected like I have to write that on my papers like on on my journal in the morning sometimes I even write I expect miracles so I have to remind myself let's take this to another level okay (laughs) you guys are gonna love this one so what is the value of holding on and being like oh I can't have it I can't have Mm. you know I'm trying to think of a good one. <laughs> I can't have, you know, I can't have it instantly healed. Like, why wouldn't we ask for the things we want, right? What's going on on that layer of our minds? We are unwilling to say, you know, I spot it, I got it. Because we don't want to be disappointed. Yeah, uh-huh. but disappointment, my gosh. I mean, if we're like, is it really worth not being disappointed <laughs> like, like what is disappointing because I mean if you don't it, like let's say you did let's play the devil's advocate if you don't believe that you could have miracles or ask for the miracle that you want then for sure you're not going to have it right because yeah. I think therefore I am I or I have and I create I spotted I got it but if I don't do that like if I don't just sit there and say I desire I want I'm entitled to by birthright yeah because God said so, and he wrote it on my DNA, if I don't believe these <laughs> things, and if I don't actively ask and seek all this truth, then I'm just limiting myself, and for sure, I'll never have those things, yep. right? Like, for sure. Right, you and won't... then you will be in the Newtonian uh, physics, <laughs> the 3D <laughs> physics, right. instead of quantum physics. Correct, right. The quantum physics reality. Somebody said on the feed conditioning, but that is, those are all the lies. We've been conditioned into a 3D reality. And we get that now. I I feel like we're doing this to get it in our bones. There you go. Yes. Like sometimes it's it's in there. And then sometimes I'm like, right. You know, this is not working or it's not happening. Um, voice come up and then I have to talk myself off the ed- ledge of back and be like, nope, I don't believe that anymore. That's not the way this works anymore. Right. But that's taken a lot of, a lot of study and a lot of work like this and a lot of listening to different thought leaders and seeking out my own information and creating the pattern that works for me. <laughs> Angry. To get it in our bones, right? Like to really be this all the way through our soul. And it's okay if you have those times where you don't. That's very normal because it's well, here in human life. Like that's the experience. No, it's- that is the experience. That's brilliant. Yeah. Right? Because how am I going to say this? I'm trying to think how to say this. So it's sort of like. Yeah, you- that is the experience. <laughs> No, it's 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 like, I feel why like there's no here. words for this, what? right? Because I mean, what what might have happened if you were raised by somebody who was played in this? Yeah, I've you, met people like that, and they definitely are, are different. Yeah, they yeah. really do create from a different space. Even some, you right? Know, because some, they think right. totally different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure they have their limitations too, because they do interact with people in the world yeah they're kind of like the, your guys are delusional <laughs> isn't it amazing just how much more we are yeah I know but it, and it isn't it sad that more of this reality isn't aware of that who oh my gosh I was on with Egan uh-huh. and I had that laughing yeah bit. yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. You know, just, I mean, it was just like open. I was thinking about that today. It's it like, I mean, it opened my, my world. Yeah. When, you know, he would, when he was talking about some of these things, I was just like, wow. Like, right. Because this is really how it works. But it's sometimes for someone that's probably newer to this work to have to go through that stretch. It was a stretch for me when I started. <laughs> Oh, man. oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Um, Especially when you know you're trying to get your what you want them to do and whatever, and you're like, I'm stretching. <laughs> we can't just think them into be like, oh, do your room, do your homework. 
<laughs> and then I was like, why? I can just create from the field. Why am I doing all this hard work in the 3D reality? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, so with with this work of clearing, I mean, you guys can do this yourself, right? We went through a few of them. I would do a couple more. But yeah. that's what I was thinking. Maybe yeah. we do. Yeah. I'm just trying to... What is one of the topics that you guys would really like to work well, on? Well, about getting disappointed. Okay. Yeah. Well, like the, so Valentina says, yes, disappointed, perhaps angry that it did not happen. So yeah. when we are well, let's afraid about, to ask for what we want. Yeah. Let's talk about anger for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the teachers before me, uh, and it took me a while to get this, said that anger is a condition of potency mm. within. It's also can act as a distractor implant that it's just distracting you from what really is. So, you know, that false evidence appearing mm -hmm. real for fear works very similar with anger. <laughs> it's false evidence that appears to be anger Relevant. and not potency. <laughs> it, uh -huh. So I started to play with anger, you know, because I was just like, you know, sometimes I'd be, do something and be angry with myself. And I thought, okay, so truth, is this really anger or is this a potency to really create change? Ooh. So sometimes you'll get angry at yourself or another person. And yeah. really that is just pulling forward a potency for change, Okay, which also makes me want to think about, so when you are angry with something or someone else, you're the problem. Like it's your frequency creating that. I love this so much. You know, when I, when I think about. I'm the problem. It's not me. I know. <laughs> it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Lisa says it's a soul harming, harming emotion. I believe it shows no purpose, but to learn from it. Mm. Yes. Change. So it does come up to give us information for sure. It would be best for us to be like, oh, interesting. I'm angry and frustration goes with anger usually. Like those two are like hand in hand. They're like buddies. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> if you are angry or experiencing frustration, uh -huh. it's kind of like, hmm. What we should do instead of like fuel it and be like, oh, that's a condition of me. Yes. That sucks. I got to change this. Yes. Instead, we meet it and go, okay, take a breath. Okay. Now, what do I change? And from this work, the very first thing is to change and move it to compassion. That's a big leap, Janet. <laughs> you had told me that years years ago, and I this is kind of when this work work was introduced. Like, I would have been like, "You're out of your freaking mind! You want me to change my anger to compassion right now? Don't you have the ability to change an emotion? Yes, yes. And, and you can even walk yourself through that one. And I do get that the anger becoming a potency. Actually, when you use that potency for what you most want to create. How freaking potent would you be? Because I can get pretty angry. Yeah. And if I change that to potency, it would be like, wow. Right. And I've definitely done that before. But and there's nothing wrong with anger too. You know, I agree with that. It's your choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's you creating it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and Amy says, yes, anger can be used for, for change for the good potency or for the bad ego. Yeah, I can see that. And anger can be the emotion needed for creating change for the better. Yes, sometimes you have to have that, or some people have to be stirred in such a way that they're like, all right, this is going to freaking change. And it changes now. You know, you've seen I that. It. I love it. Right? And things really do get in that motion. And you're like, damn. And and you saw it with a lot of the different times it, throughout history, right? Where things seriously and fundamentally change because people and people had gotten angry. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, funny. I think of frustration a lot. I almost feel like manifesting generators of the human design. They are like, that is their not me, literally. Like that is the thing that they go to when they're not being them. <laughs> it's frustration. So if you're a manifesting de generator through human design, 
then you will go through that. Mm -hmm. Cool. And what you get to do now is go, I mean, the amount of times I'm on my computer and like something won't click, something it worked won't open, yesterday, right? It worked or, yesterday. Or it just totally <laughs> shuts down. Yes. Because it's like, oh, then I've on. been slowed down. I've been stopped. I've been, you know, so it's like frustration then happens. But what if that didn't? What if I... What if today, right now, as soon as that would happen, I'd be like, okay, fill your heart with compassion. Okay. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. For, like, like, really yeah. freaking cool. If you could just go and just all that anger and totally. just, like, flood your heart with compassion. Let's practice that, y'all. Let's see what that does and changes for us. Just play with it. Think it, and one of the things I did with heart math is I really, they were, they were like, okay, if you want to get that coherent frequency, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. think of something and, or somebody that you love, like a little dog. Because who could child. not be mad at dogs? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure people could. But. Somebody, yeah, that's yeah. true. But, you know, for most people, it's like a lot of puppies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think that that's the appropriate question. Valentina's like, well, how, how do I do that? Yeah. So, said, so I'm going to show you right now. Yeah. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. So when, so say that you're on your computer and it just stops working entirely and it needs a full reboot. That is information. And yes, I probably do need a reboot right then and there. Yeah. I mean, that would be the awareness. And I guess what so how do you be compassion during your reboot is mm -hmm. literally think of something that you just oh it could even be like a something you love to to watch or listen to maybe you put your favorite song on that brings up like all these lovey-dovey things and you literally reboot during the computer reboot you know something else isn't working right and you can't figure it out then Maybe that means you're working too hard to figure things out. Like the, what if everything is the mirror? <laughs> Instead of like winding yourself out of it. I mean, how many people do you think in this world okay. go to work and they have some level of frustration? And what if that synapsis in their no. brain had never, ever formed? Oh, interesting. What if everyone, this would be such a different reality. Well, if everyone would be like, shit, my computer needs a reboot. Oh, okay. I need a reboot. Let me get into my heart. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like such a cool world. Lisa, you have a question? Do you, uh, yeah, Lisa, yeah, go ahead. You can uh, unmute. unmute. What's up? I can unmute ideally if I could find the button. <laughs> When, hi everybody when this call hi. first started i was on my way home from physical therapy so i am going through an awakening i'm getting messages all of that so i'm also have healed multiple sclerosis i'm just saying this for whomever's in here that hasn't already heard this and i'm sorry if you're hearing it again <laughs> you can tell us as many times as you get yes, every time girlfriend <laughs> every time Say because anger plays into this also in the way that I got over being angry in a certain situation. So I had some readings and honestly, in the beginning of this awakening, when I'm getting these messages, I'm trying to share this with my husband that this is happening to me. And all he's doing is making fun of me and telling me that I'm crazy and kind of pointing fingers and, you know, and initially it made me very angry. Yeah. Right. So these, yeah. Then he decided that I was crazy and then he was going to leave me. He was like threatening me. So I had a hard time dealing with it because through those readings and including the messages that I was hearing personally, but I was hoping that a reading was going to tell me something different <laughs> was telling me that I need to just love him and be compassionate and the, not to be angry and that the angry was serving no purpose for me and that I needed to be able to look at him through the lens of love and with compassion. Mm. So when I started doing that, he still pokes at me, but it doesn't bother me at all anymore. Mm. Good. It doesn't, but also 
I don't get angry with him anymore. Instead, I just have compassion. Not able to think the way that us on this call think. He's so close-minded with that, that it makes me sad for him to not realize things that that he doesn't realize, right? I don't know how to put it into words. I started to type it all in here and I was like, I can't type all that. No, we received it though. We yeah. definitely did. And in fact, Jonathan and I looked at each other because this makes this yeah. up so much. One thing that I know with this work is to say, just for me, just for fun, do not tell anyone. Unless it's Lianca, in which case I will. <laughs> do you know what happened? <laughs> so so the, this hurricane that I just don't feel angry anymore once I was able because the one person that pushed my buttons the most was my husband yes. yep yeah. once yep. I was able to look at him with compassion I am now a I am now able to I don't really get angry about anything just like at the beginning of this call I shared in the chat how I really can't think of anything that I need to clear right now because I don't hold on to that stuff anymore. It's gone. I've healed molestation from being a child. I've healed date rape from being a teenager. I've healed multiple sclerosis. I'm like, what else do I need to clear? I don't know, but I'm telling you all it's possible and you can let it go. And it is so cool to get into a place where you, you can relate to those emotions because I can remember being that way, I can yeah. remember being angry. I yes. can remember things that triggered me. Yes. But I don't get triggered anymore. That's and great. it's so awesome to ah. find that place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, then I just it. wanted to share some stories that that brings up with me. I'm going to mute you. I, so with the hurricane over the weekend, like, so I have a beach house right on the coast of Texas. And it looked for a minute like it was going to land right at that port. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to throw a bunch of fireballs and ask for this hurricane to turn. And I asked my friends that get me to do the same. And, and then I told somebody that was less, but was she was just like, let's just hope it dies before it gets to you. I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm like on the coast. It's not going to die. All things will eventually die, but not yeah, this. And you also wish that it would to turn it and to be a little bit less. I was like, and it's, gonna it's going up to this Houston area. Let's just keep sending it up to Houston, right? With love, like without <laughs> let's do it. Let's do without it earlier. Anyone, anyone else, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I felt like it was going to hit somewhere. <laughs> let's just make it not hit my house. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, <there> <laughs> but, but, you know, I'm not going to take credit for turning the hurricane. You could. I don't want to, because right. then it becomes about me ah. instead of about the oneness we are. That's true. Too. So with Lisa, you know, when she was sharing that, gosh, her husband's so limited around mm -hmm. this, it's exactly the same. About Do you see what I'm saying? It's exactly like, like she needed validation initially, right? Yes, 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 yes. I'm saying you guys, you don't need the validation. Or, or, or you don't necessarily need to, to have to bring everybody on the ride. Everyone is here on their own soul journey. Like You've, that. Um, it may not be at the same level as you, right? You have to remember that you went through your own soul journey to get to what you can receive right now. So it, that might be a lot for them. And it might be like a stretch, right? Sometimes people just aren't ready for that type of their allowance, their acceptance or allowance of what the awareness is, is kind of too far out. That's when you have to start to ask what you would want that person to ask that their allowance or the acceptance kind of meet their new awareness. But that's also a, a soul journey. So just know that. And by you just being the light, you then are changing that person as well. Mm -hmm. You are elevating and asking their soul from a soul to soul level yep. without saying words, words to come up to meet you in that new awareness. Um, so just know that that is changing. But I, I'm the same way. Like I wanted to sing it from the mountaintops. I mean, I told my husband, I was like, I 
it's a miracle. I'm not drinking. Like, I mean, that's a big <laughs> deal, right? right? Yeah, it is. I mean, well, and that up. is how it happened for you yes. too. Yes. And because so, it was like the universe took the craving away. Yes. Yes, it is. And I am not like, I am not sure to say that, but, and I used to be, but I did want to go tell like my husband or, you know, this and that. And then thought, no, there's a reason why that I don't go share it from the mountaintops in that yeah, way. Because, well, for one, they'll it, invalidate it. Correct. And might undo it from their frequency. <laughs> and what if I fell into that frequency yeah. with them, right? Yeah. So then no, I would have been shutting down my own miracle. So now, because I've experienced the miracle, I know that they are real, like tangible, like I can have it like a yeah. Coke. Yeah, a miracle would happen if I never had frustration ever again. Right. If I would be like, oh, my computer isn't working. Okay. Time for a reboot. Lisa, thank you so much for sharing that. Well, I think a lot of us can relate. I mean, it's I a... deal with it in my own household still. Right. I mean, they just now are kind of like really Coming cute around. about it. They, you know, they joke about the chakras. They're like, where's oh. my chakra? So the, we, I went out to dinner. I broke my chakra. I was like, you can't break your chakra. <laughs> you did. You broke it. <laughs> I was like, I didn't. <laughs> Although Amy did have that psychic surgery. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll rock chakras. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a good call. Yeah, it was a really good call. So I went out to dinner with my husband the other day and I was like, this one episode with Joe Dispenza talking about time and space and space and time is blowing my mind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I was explaining it to him and I was like, instead of our timeline being like this it's more like this right and uh -huh. their frequency uh -huh, jumps uh -huh, uh -huh. and he's like no that's not how it works that's a an x-axis and this is a y-axis uh -huh. <laughs> he's like thinking <laughs> no and i'm like well it should have been like a nucleated sphere or something right i said but that's not the point joe <laughs> i was like i want you to listen to this because yeah. he's a scientist yeah, like he is. actually he is. is through yeah yeah and, you know although he also gets this magic stuff too he can like spidey magic and heal his knee and stuff so you know it's not outside his realm to grasp it but I was trying to just get him I was like don't listen he's like you're not making a good argument <laughs> he's like I need proof oh. and I was like well he's all based in science he does study everything just listen to something and uh -huh. it was just like the door shut. Yeah, I've been trying to. It's just, you know, he's like, no, uh -huh. you've gotten excited about people in the past. <laughs> boo, boo. I know. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how I get my family to watch that as well. <laughs> really? Truth be told. Yeah. I was like, okay, fine. Well, if he's, I'm not, I, I don't need out. to convince him. If, yeah. if he wants to open the door and at there some will point, be that. he will open the door. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why people get married no longer is just for survival. So back in the day, we used to get married in order to have two people that had, you know, income, one person or whatever, right? So one person could take care of the household and the other one made the income. Nowadays, people get married for soul, soul evolvement for ascension, essentially. Mm -hmm. And so by two people being together, they then help each other's soul grow. So remember every dynamic that you have with your spouse or your loved one, that's possibly what's going on is that you are being asked to have your soul grow in this dynamic and B, you are asked to help their soul grow without having to shove it down their, <laughs> their throats, right? Without having to like, Hey, because they have to go through their own, their own soul growth journey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we talk about this That's all right. the time. We live this. Yeah. And I you still know, can't articulate it in certain ways. I mean, no, I, truth be told, I I'm listen not make it to funny. things and I'm like, gosh, I really wish I could explain it like this. I work on it to just so yeah. that I could come here and be able to like share. And some things, you know, universal open up and say, yeah. spirit will just let the words flow. And sometimes, you know, spirit's just like, no, no, you, you know, take a minute. <laughs> I feel like I can do good enough. But I, I feel like I'd sure like to do a lot better. Sure. So maybe the show, that's going to be my next ask. Could I haven't even asked for that. Why not? I've asked for me to have less ums. 
all <laughs> if you join us for the show that's like the funny word it's like we don't have the exact words, words to things yeah, so we just plus. like fill, um, fill our words <laughs> but you know there's okay. the anyway yes so my point back to get back to the genius and how we can create with healing and get to our unlocking our genius how do we use these steps to do that well, I think the the clearing is to to really look at things outside this box. As mm-hmm, well. mm-hmm. But I think the second step for really awakening your genius is to know that you've got like this wild creative energy that has possibly been made wrong. I mean, clearly you would be your genius if you would let your genius shine. Like that is your purpose here. So I guess some of the questions to ask is like, what happened? You know, when did this happen? The, I used to call this the B factor. Okay. With, is the who, what, where, when, why. And sometimes you can even ask the how. Like, okay. So, so when, when being my genius. So you can play with me. So with my genius, who am I being? With my genius, who am I being? And you might come up Anything with, that doesn't allow that. It might come with a time. It might come with somebody else's genius like you trying to have something else that somebody else wanted Mm. gosh we think about like I mean I one of my cars that I bought was purchased specifically because somebody else liked it that's sad yeah I I didn't have my own yeah it wasn't even a voice my own Joy yeah. opinions. Yeah, interesting. Like, so when did you lose your choices and opinions to somebody or something else? Oh. And everything that is would you start an Yes. <laughs> so with my genius, who am I being? With my genius, who am I being? With my the lack of my genius, who am I being? With the lack of my genius, who am I being? And maybe that's, you haven't really even, it almost seems like there might be like fog on the line with this because they're like, well, I've never been my genius. So how would I know? Like, Like, well, creativity could be another word for it. So when I'm being my genius creativity or when I'm being creativity, who am I being? And now can it be like a you know, almost like a channeled thing. Like, you know, am I channeling like my inner, I don't know. How many entities am I being? (laughs) Or can it be like my inner Marilyn, Marilyn, whatever her name is. Monroe. (laughs) Thank you, Marilyn Monroe, right? Like that's creativity, right? Well, you could choose that. So that could be- But that doesn't mean that's who you're being now with it, right? Because it's the lackluster right now, unless you really feel like you are alive and awake with the Marilyn. Like what if you're just really channeling some Marilyn and you got like your makeup kicking like that and you're just really pulling it through? And you know, some people say that that's kind of, you know, given those vibes. Yeah. I mean, this is all just to bring up awareness. Okay. I got you. So with the lack of you being your genius. Okay. So just try and create. Yes. With this genius thing, where am I being? With this genius thing. With this lack of genius, with this. Ew. Hiding. <laughs> mm. Under a rock. Yeah. Anything, anything that can hide me. Would you start an uncreate? Yes. So. Ah. <laughs> oh, what came up for me is not wanting to post on social media. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Hiding, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. And I have some fun stuff well, that I'd love to share. It could be lazy things, too. Yeah, you it could know? be lazy things, too. Yeah, although I do, I did a whole reel on lazy, and I really feel like that is hiding. Ah, I'm choosing to be lazy and calling it lazy. Yes, yes. Procrastination lazy is often just another word for, I don't want to show up fully. So who who are you being? What are you being? Where are you being? Why are you being? How are you being? So with this genius thing, how are you being? Sort of like. Well, what came up for me was like disappointed. Mm. But how am I being? How are you being? I'm being stubborn. Being stubborn. All right. I'm justifying. I'm justifying the hiding and the small. 
and I would say stubborn. I know it's mine. I, I don't want to put that out there. It's not right. It's not good enough. Everything <laughs> that is would just try and uncreate. Yes. Take a breath. Oh. <laughs> And it doesn't help anyone, right, Lisa? Like if we were to come out and, you know, share like what you beautifully shared with us, more people could be healed with that. Yeah. What would it take? Yeah. Thank you for but sharing, by the way. Technically, if somebody would go out, how many, th how many people you think would relate to that? <laughs> My grandmother. <laughs> oh she doesn't know the concept of it's great though filters though <laughs> fun so if you're if you get find yourself this also works when you just wake up in a mood to to go through okay great well then you know who am I being with this mood you know and you'll probably go to like cranky five-year-old right? <laughs> boo you know <laughs> who what am, yeah. what am I being with this mood I'm having? Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the mood, maybe mood would be like, if I'm small and hiding, it's almost like, oh gosh, like small, really like, oh, and, and almost like wanting to pull defeated. You feel defeated. Mm -hmm. And when I do those things, yes. But when you're, when you just wake up in a mood. Yeah. Like yeah. sometimes if I wake up in a mood, I feel defeated. I'm like, I don't even want to do this right now. Like, yeah. 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 Uh, Valentina said like having a dipper tantrum. <laughs> yeah. I can relate girlfriend. Yeah. And, and so there, there could be more processing around this or more questions that this is when you get out of journal and go, okay, great. So I'm I having do. this tantrum in my world, you know, what, who does it belong to? Where did it come from? Yeah. Uh, how old was I the first time? These are some of the questions that I continue to go back to. It's so good. How old was I the first time that I had a temper tantrum? Mm -hmm. uh, is there something also that can relate to that temper tantrum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I really feel like this is the best way to get unstuck around anything is just to, to follow the question, follow the question, follow the question. And if you don't know the question to ask, you say, Hey, universe, what question should I ask here? I open my Akashic records a lot of the mm -hmm. times and I have been guided to open them more. Let me tell you the last time I had opened them was well over maybe about two months ago. Oh. And I've been guided to actually open them for like 10 minutes a day, just because there's a lot of information that's been coming through. And I just hadn't done it. I've meditated. I've gone to the field. I've worked in this, but I know that that works for me. I can ask my master's teachers and loved ones for a question and I can even start in with the question. And then all of a sudden I'm just writing. I mean, just full on answers to myself and it's amazing. But yeah, sometimes I'll just stop and be like, yeah. what question am I not asking that if I would ask it would change everything. Right. And then all of a sudden I just get, you know, yeah. and sometimes you won't get the exact answer, but you will always get the answer. It maybe it might not be yeah. at that exact moment. When I'm in my records, I do, but that's just because I've learned how to really connect. But sometimes you can get the answer, you know, you'll be strumming along later in the day and you're like, oh shit, that's it. I get yeah. it now. I get why I was being that way. Or I get what the information was trying to tell yeah. me. Who was the guy when we had that profound phone call the other day who had a book then you were like oh yeah that's how it's been shown to me when we were talking about playing in oh are you talking you about court no well who no it was no what we I was outside out there <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was uh comparing dispensa and access consciousness. One of the things that they say in access consciousness is what energy, space, and consciousness can you be? I always knew that that brought up a more expanded energy. And what energy, space, and consciousness can I be? So you can practice with To be here. the Marilyn Monroe of my that genius is, yeah. that I truly that be. That I truly be. <laughs> uh, anything okay. that doesn't allow that, we destroy and create. Yes. And share your own words there, please. <laughs> Everything matches up. It just made me think, you know, there, there's been like, I want to put things at arm's distance. I'll put my arm in the camera, right? I want to put things like at arm's distance, right? I'm like, no, 
you know, it, it, I don't believe it. Now that I've heard it from these global teachers in that they use a very similar language. And then I was like, you know what? I, I, I will now come back and say, oh, what if they are right? Instead of me saying, no, you've got to stay back because it doesn't match my reality. It doesn't uh, match my head. Uh, it doesn't match my conclusions that I've made. Uh, How many conclusions do you have about this work that's keeping you from truly embodying and receiving it? Yes. Everything that is, would you just yes. share and uncreate? Yes. Yeah. What Whoa. conclusions do you have about, about this, this work, work that won't allow you to receive it and fully embody it? Yeah. And if you were to embody it, which what then would be possible? Anything that would allow that? Would you destroy, destroy and create. Why does it take us like the full 50 minutes to get what? to that stuff? Damn. <laughs> because. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Valentina says it goes back to fear. You know, it could go back to anger or fresh, you know, frustration. Are, yeah. Like I, you know, what it was like early in the, the year this year that I was in meditation telling myself. Yeah that I can't. And I hear those words, bullshit. 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 I, I always think about that because I was just reading somebody else's book and they had, they said, and I wrote it down. It was like, I heard these other words that came right over my right ear. And it said with so much fullness, it said, and it was the equivalent of bullshit or like, you uh -huh. know, like, you know, no, like that kind of know thing. Better. And I thought, wow, that's so cool. Like yeah. you were so clued in and like your message or, you know, yeah. your higher self, whatever, whatever it is, it was so like, I have to get this message to, to you. And that was the only way I would have received it. If it was like, it was like, yes, you can. I probably wouldn't have gotten it. It had to be like that. I love that it like used that the S word too. Like, I'm speaking in all the languages she knows. Right? With commanding. It's so cool though. But in this, like, isn't that so cool though? Because we love can, it. we do have these abilities to ask our guides for help. And they, you know, remember we have free will. So we have to ask. Mm -hmm. we have to ask we have to clear and we have to just keep moving forward yeah. utilize these tools because we have an inner genius that so wants to be shared with the world yeah. that only like marie folio says only you can share right that you right. have that unique ability about you that so wants to be shared how you contribute to this ascension for us all so don't you be holding back. <laughs> we, we need your peace because <laughs> we want all of these things together i yeah. believe yeah yeah. What other questions you guys have on the feed about this? Do you all, where are you guys on, you know, yes level as far as like, okay, I can do this. Or do you feel like I, I can change frustration to compassion? <laughs> like it's all right. It's my head. <laughs> I can change it. <laughs> We're human too, right? <laughs> Ooh. I'll hold your hand and walk through with you. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. So a uh, couple announcements, you guys. On Thursday, we have a medium. She's really cool. Really, really good medium coming. I was sharing that she gave me two readings over the past, like probably it's been a span of about four years. Mm -hmm. And I'll just be frank with it. She predicted this show, but I had, it was so far out of my realm. Yeah. She said, no, I see you doing something else with YouTube. And I thought maybe it's my son's, you know, foundation. He's been doing some videos. He really loves it. I was doing some stuff with another project. She said, no, no, I really see you doing something else. That's she goes and If you're willing to be the full unicorn that you really truly be and are willing to step into it, then you then you know i see a book for you and I, I was like a book i was like girl you do not know i was like first of all i will talk but i i'm not now you've got <laughs> tpt that's right that's right i was like mm, okay and then and lo and behold i was standing here with jenneth and i go oh my gosh i said it's paula paula was the one that predicted this and i was like and i completely forgot and i re-listened to her reading with me and it was super profound she 
immediately could pick up on the resonance of my grandpa and was able to give me message and knew there were things that she could pinpoint that no one else could have known about his character and the chair he sat in. I mean, it tears were just flowing out of my eyes. It was so profound. And she can do this through psychic mediumship. So messages for the future and messages from connecting with your loved ones. And even a past person that I had worked with in the church as a child, she basically got me to the place of where I could realize that I have been doing this search my whole life, even as a kid to kind of understand how um, maybe religion and spirituality all kind of work together. Cause I had a lot of questions when I was a kid mm -hmm. growing up with a lot of different religions in my life. And she breadcrumbed kind of the hell out of that. I thought it was fascinating. So you guys have to come back for that for Paula Davis. She will be on with us. And she wrote a book too, that's channeled. And so she'll be talking a little bit about that. That's brand new. And she's barely, barely getting this information yeah. out. Yeah. yeah it'll be exciting. quite interesting. So bring your questions to mm -hmm. She's so open. She's just so open to work with people. Yeah. So think about what you might want to talk with her about. Well, that sounds that sounds fun. like a good show coming out Thursday. Exciting. All right, you guys. I know we had a lot of big things we're talking about on the show. Some of you wrote in the chat. If you want to send us a question or some afterthoughts, you always can email us at team at how Tesla. We will always try to respond and get you some information that we can while we're still growing. It's also yeah. allows for us to really feel into what you're experiencing. And even if you are having some fun on the show, let us know too. Just a reminder, today's lounge day, Yay. which uh, is going to have a name change. I've started to put or that name out. Growth. It's like a fluid thing, right? It's a name <laughs> growth. But we've decided to make it have a little piece of training in it. Just a little piece. We still want community and for the community to ask questions. So I really wanted to put together a group. Uh, some of the feedback from the group would be to focus on learning, growing, expanding, yeah. nurturing their gifts, Yep, you know, as a healer, even if it's a healer for themselves uh -huh. instead of a, right, right, right. a healer for others. So if that calls you and you have something in your world that you want to expand around healing or creativity, because I think they pretty much go hand in yeah, hand, right. that I just wanted to let you know that it's now going to be called the healer's haven Yay. Mm -hmm. today's the first day for the healer's haven and I, I will put the link in the chat if you want to hop on and join us just to give it a, a try and you can cancel at any time so yep um, we're really excited about this and and again really it came through working with I mean, getting to know you really intimately I think that's really cool yeah me. yeah the sense of community that we're creating here mm-hmm mm -hmm. And to learn how to um, harness and, and really fall into your gifts. We all have them. Yeah. So the healers group is 37 a month. And I hope if you feel called, you know, come, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's really a small, small group, you guys. Yeah. So you get it's a lot of attention, attention, but it's growing. Yes. Small, yeah. Small. And we're excited about this new kind of turn on this too. I know I'm excited. Yeah. I, I feel like it needed more formatting and I'm glad that the group, the asked, group for it. asked for and it. I thought, right? Oh my gosh, oh, that's exactly, they're exactly right. Yeah. Right. This is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love yeah, it so Lisa, much. Lisa's in the group. Oh, I love you and love this group. Oh, I love you too, Lisa. So sweet. And yeah, thank you for being such a great contribution. All right, guys. All right. Have a great afternoon. We will see you on Thursday. Bye, Christina. Thanks, guys. Bye, everyone.